<laughs> hey, this is John. And Jess. And we are the Relationship Revivalists. Now, yesterday we talked to you a little bit about boundaries. Boundaries, you know, you love to hate them and you hate to love them. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we wanted to give you, we don't, we don't want to just let you sit there and hang and wonder, well, what, you, know, you, to, you told us about these boundaries, well, what do I do about them? And so I think we're going to give you a couple of ideas mm -hmm. to kind of squelch and actually set your boundaries mm -hmm. up. Right. And one thing to know, <coughs> as we talked about in depth yesterday, we, we have to have boundaries, mm -hmm. right? We have to have, excuse me, <coughs> we have to have boundaries um, for ourselves, for a relationship, for you know, what we will allow and not allow, mm -hmm. how we will allow other people to treat us and not allow them. And we told a little story yesterday um, about someone asking something of somebody else and, and it felt weird to them. It wasn't, it was an innocent ask, but they shouldn't have asked that particular right. thing, right? But now it's up to the person who was asked, what is she going to do, right? Yeah. And the thing that we were leading up to yesterday is she's going to have to confront the situation. Mm -hmm. If she wants it to stop and she wants that person and everybody else to know her boundary in that area, she's going to have to mm -hmm. communicate it, yeah. right? She doesn't have to get all uptight and yell and scream, right? But she does have to mm -hmm. let the person know under no circumstances, you will not do this again. Yeah, not only no. Right. <laughs> it's one of our favorite sayings. But it's it's easier said than done, mm -hmm. right? In so many situations, it can feel weird, like with family or close friends, where they're usually the boundary pushers, really. Right. right? You know, and they're not someone that, oh, it doesn't matter because I'll never see them again. No, you'll probably see them every day, every week, whatever. Mm -hmm. Right, so you have to let them know you crossed the line here but it can feel so weird but we're, John and I were talking about there's a key right there mm -hmm. if we get this key it makes boundaries and communicating our boundaries so much easier mm. so imagine if you will with, if you, with us what if someone did something to your best friend that your friend didn't like and she came talking to you about it and it makes you mad too. Mm -hmm. Like, what would you do? Your uh, first obviously, yeah. obviously, your friend was in the right. Right, exactly. Right. So, so it's like, oh, okay, we're gonna get our posse here. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do something about yeah. this. Right. Would you just sit back and let your friend struggle? Absolutely not. You would go and stick up for the friend. At least I hope that we all would do that mm -hmm. because, you know, their their uh, relationship that you you value and you cherish and the things that you value and cherish you protect don't you mm -hmm. so if you're not going to protect then are they really a friend right so turn it just a little bit and mm -hmm. think about yourself as your best friend because you should be one of your best friends right so do you consider yourself a best friend enough to fight for yourself absolutely Whoa. do you love yourself enough to fight for yourself. To fight for yourself. Yeah, yeah. that's really powerful right there. Yeah. And when you think about it, I mean, we have to love ourselves. In the Bible, it says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Yeah. We can imply then that if you don't love yourself very much, you, you can, can't love your neighbor. Right. And you'll let a lot of things slide. You'll, mm -hmm. let, you'll, you'll let people take things from you. You'll let people do things to you that no one else would do that so why i mean you have to start learning to love yourself and if you are in a place where maybe you're feeling a little insecure about yourself maybe you're in a place where you think that you know you don't deserve any of this pardon the garbage bag shaking here <laughs> but you you have to start building yourself up and what's the best way to do that read the bible and read what god has to say about you repeatedly tell yourself what God says about you because it's the truth. He's the one that created you and he will build you up and build your your faith and your strength up so that you can start to set up standard there with boundaries and with you know your your personality setting those things up those boundaries up and I tell you what you start doing those boundaries your life is going to get easy. You may think the, the devil will think well yeah 
those boundaries are terrible and if you do those you're, you're gonna make your life miserable because people will just hound you like why are you doing all this but in the reality it's actually the reverse because mm -hmm. even friends even the people you interact with every day at your work or or anywhere that you're you're out and about they all crave to have boundaries mm -hmm. so I think we're gonna end that to, for Perfect. today uh, don't forget go ahead Go ahead and get that PDF that we have uh, created for you. It's loaded with uh, valuable information. It's a quick read, uh, and you know, once you finish that, you're gonna have some some uh, what is it called? Your some artillery to bolster your relationship up. So the link will be in the description, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. See you later.